What's up, YouTube? Silver Austin 13. How you guys been? Everybody doing well, I hope. We'll get right into it. Show you guys these things I got. I got a uh, 1997. These were got at a little flea market deal for 10 bucks a piece. A 97 silver proof set. Looks great. And here's the key right here. It's 95 silver proof set. 10 bucks. That's a hit, guys. Nice, nice piece. Nice set. Happy to get them. I got this overpriced, ugly 2016 Pant Swiss Lunar because I collect these. That's why I got it. It's just so terrible. The others are really good, and this one really, really falls short for me. I mean, in a big way. Hopefully, they'll redeem themselves with the rooster design, which it looks like the first mint designs are. They're pretty bang bang in my opinion so far, but getting off topic. I overpowered for this junk, but it's to keep the series going. I'm sure all of us are guilty of overpaying. If you haven't overpaid, then uh, you're lying. Check these out. Now, anybody seen these before? This one's not so much. These red seals. What is it, Noob Jack? Look at it. Look at it. It's pretty sweet, right? Red seal, Inglehards, originals. Numerical order. You know what I mean on these bad boys. Two of them, anyway. So, real happy to have those. Four of those, Inglehards. And then two Johnson Matthews. Happy to have these as well. A C and a B on the serial. And proof light. Going from one Johnson Matthew to another. Got these rounds. Freedom Round, Charles and Matthew Freedom Round, Freedom of the Press. As well as Freedom from Slavery. These are highly collectible. Charles and Matthew Rounds. Moving really well done. Grabbed up another Geiger. One ounce round. Got another plank. Sweet. That's two of these from At Max. I like them. They're done by the uh who is it? RMC. Yeah, Republic Metals. That ruins it for me to happen, Max, but you know, whatever. Not bad. Not bad. They're cool. They were dirt cheap. And, uh, some things, so. Uh, silver Picker, I think you had a knife like this in one of your videos. Not just one. This is my, this is one of my everyday carry blades. It's a case. It's a good knife. I thought I'd seen one in your video. Just wondering. Big fan of case knives. Also, I'm going to do something amazing. I'm going to keep my Liberty Medals. One West Point, one San Francisco. I know. Shame on me. To each his own. Congrats to you guys that made a hell of a profit off flipping them. I'll hustle a different way, but... You guys really, really, <laughs> that was some impressive stuff. 
I mean, y'all getting gold and all that. Nice, nice hustle for real. All y'all are flipped in Liberty medals. No question. Um, most of y'all are sub to my channel. Y'all know Steady Stack and Silver. Well, he sent me this cool little gift out of nowhere. This sweet little velvet pouch. John Rocker Jewelry. Check out what he sent. This is what blew me away now. I mean, for real. This is unsolicited. Just sent it to me. Like, hey, what's up, buddy? Look at this blazer. Okay? It's a 1995 Mexican one ounce of Plata Porta. Beautiful, beautiful blazer, Steady. Love it. I mean, great looking piece. <laughs> now get to the real coin. Hello. Are you kidding me, man? Wow. Wow. I mean, way, way cool, Steady Stacking Silver. Way cool, man. And then just to put, to bust the cool meter, this guy goes gold mining on a claim of his. You know, in a unknown location where he goes gold mining. He's not only talking to talk, he's walking to walk. He sent me some gold that he mined. Gold little nuggets, gold flake, you know, something that's some color that you can see and that you would that you would pan real quick. How freaking awesome is that, man? And it's purest form. I really appreciate that, Steady Sack and Silver. So if you guys aren't sub the Steady Sack and Silver, don't cheat yourself, treat yourself, and go sub him up. Thanks for watching YouTube. Preach.